give a huge shout out to our amazing Faculty of Arts graduates in the class of 2020. The ceremony today, it's different than any we've done before, is a celebration to the resilience of your spirit, of your determination and hard work, of the obstacles you've overcome, and above all, your achievements and your victories. I hope your arts degree will serve as a foundation for your career and your engagement with the world for decades to come. Thanks for choosing UBC and the Faculty of Arts. I'm proud to have been your dean, and I'm looking forward to hearing all about your journeys in the years ahead. Cheers. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I met all of you in Land and Food Systems in your early days, first at Imagine Day, and then in LFS 100. Over the years, I've seen you grow as a group, gaining a vast array of talent and expertise. Today, in coming together at your graduation, I'm proud to see how you've adapted and support each other during a unique time in our world. I encourage you to continue supporting each other by reaching out to your alumni connections. You always have a home at LFS, so please stay connected. Hats off to you for your remarkable achievements. Cheers. This is your moment. After years of hard work, late nights and exams, here you are. You are graduating, and you are graduating under circumstances our school and faculty have never experienced before. While the pandemic prevents me sadly from shaking you by the hand, I hope I can convey to you here and now my deepest congratulations. Because this is truly an incredible achievement. After all, the world needs your expertise right now. We need your non-linear thinking, and we need your sense of ethics and integrity. We need your ability to work together. But enough about what the world needs. This is your moment. I, will, I hope you will savor perhaps the biggest accomplishment yet. Graduation. The stage is yours. Each year, I look forward to my role as reader of names at graduation, and this spring was no different. I joyfully anticipated reading your names as you cross the stage to have the president congratulate and admit you. We never expected this reality, and as we move beyond in how to thrive and adapt once again, we look to you as leaders to inspire us and to reimagine how education can look moving forward. Journey well, graduates. We're so proud of you.
Hello, kinesiology graduates. As director of the school, I want to say a big congratulations to all of you on this special convocation day and in this special year. I also want to acknowledge your resilience and your strength of character as you've all succeeded under these extraordinary circumstances. You'll have a special place in the school's history as the class of 2020. I wish you all the very best as you pursue your unique paths forward and I hope you remain in contact with the school as you develop your talents, fulfill your dreams, and pursue your avocations. Congratulations. Hello everyone, as Dean of the Faculty of Education, I wish to congratulate you on graduating from the University of British Columbia with a degree in education. I want to recognize your hard work and celebrate your accomplishments. And I want to wish you well in all your future endeavors as you now become alum of the Faculty of Education at the University of British Columbia. On this most important of occasions, I send my heartfelt congratulations on your graduation from UBC. May you savor this moment and celebrate your achievement with your loved ones. To Mest. Hello everyone. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all of our graduates and their families and friends who are joining us today for this momentous occasion. My name is Dermot Kelleher and I'm the Dean of the Faculty of Medicine and the Vice President's Health at UBC. First and foremost, I'd like to begin by offering my deepest congratulations to all of our graduating classes. You each have so much to be proud of. While graduation ceremonies are undoubtedly different this year, what has not changed is their significance. It's time to rejoice in your accomplishments, to celebrate with your peers and colleagues, and to honor the community of faculty friends and family who have been with you and supported you every step of the way. So on behalf of the entire Faculty of Medicine at UBC, I wish you all the best on the road ahead and once again, my deepest congratulations.
Graduation from law school is always memorable. This year, however, is truly one for the record books. I hope you will make time to celebrate this milestone achievement, to thank those who've helped you along the way, and to reward yourself somehow for all the hard work and commitment that have brought you to this moment. At some point just over the horizon, I look forward to inviting you to a truly enormous graduation party at Allard Hall. And in the meantime, please accept my warmest congratulations. You did it. Congratulations to all of you for completing your program. All the more so at this extraordinary time in the world's history. As Dean of the Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, I'd like to congratulate you and welcome you back to the faculty as part of our alumni community, which is a global network of more than 6,400 graduates. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors, and following the graduation ceremony, invite you to watch this year's Dean's Reception, which is a celebration for you and will include the presentation of this year's Student and Faculty Awards. On behalf of the faculty and staff of UBC Faculty of Dentistry, I would like to congratulate the class of 2020. Unfortunately, we were unable to gather together in person to celebrate this significant occasion, an achievement you have worked long and hard to complete. Instead, I am sending each of you virtual congratulations until we can celebrate together when it is safe once again. Again, our sincere congratulations to the class of 2020. We are truly proud of your many accomplishments and the potential impact you will have on oral health of British Columbia and Canada. I'm here today on behalf of the Faculty of Forestry to offer our heartfelt congratulations to you on achieving graduation. We're really proud of you. You've done this in an exceptionally difficult year. We look forward to celebrating with you in person whenever the restrictions are lifted and seeing you again in the future. 
Please enjoy the ceremony that's about to unfold. Congratulations to all School of Music grads. We hope that your time here at the UBC School of Music was full of incredible musical experiences, whether your focus was on research or composition or performance. Wherever you're headed off to now, we know that you'll take your skills, knowledge, creativity, and an amazing work ethic. Please know that we're very proud of you and we hope that you'll keep in touch. All the best. Good day, all graduates. This is a momentous occasion, and I so wish I could be there in person to greet you and congratulate you. A graduate degree is a significant accomplishment, and I hope you each can feel a great sense of achievement and growth for the time that you've spent in your programs at UBC. I wish you all the very best of success in the next stages of your lives. To each member of the absolutely awesome graduating class of 2020, please accept the warmest congratulations of the UBC Board of Governors. You and your loved ones should be extraordinarily proud, proud of all that you've accomplished, but particularly during the final months of your studies when you had to make the shift to online courses and online exams as the university had to respond to the COVID pandemic. I'm confident that the class of 2020 will prove to be one of the most effective, the most accomplished in at least a generation, as you've proven your ability to respond to challenges when they present themselves to you. We look forward to following your successes, both personal and professional, all along the way. In the meantime, 
to each of you. Well, well done. Warmest congratulations and go class of 2020. Hello, class of 2020, and congratulations. Today, we celebrate the great effort you have put forth, the success that this created, and the strong connections that you've made along the way. You have all made sacrifices to keep our community healthy and safe, and for that, I am eternally grateful. These are challenging times, but I have every confidence that you are ready to demonstrate responsible leadership and meet the challenge of our time with purpose, vision, and impact. Congratulations on this very special milestone and best wishes on the road ahead. My heartfelt congratulations to you, the UBC Science Class of 2020. You are now graduates of one of the most challenging and comprehensive science curricula in the entire world. I'm incredibly proud of the work that you've dedicated yourself in the last four years and to your resiliency in recent months. So be kind to yourself, uh, to those around you and to your community and stay in touch. Reach out to your science classmates. Reach out to all the virtual resources that are available to you now that you're a UBC alums. Congratulations. UBC Science is so proud of you.
Good morning and welcome. My name is Nancy Hermiston and I am the University Marshal and a professor in the School of Music, Voice and Opera Divisions at the University of British Columbia. I am so thrilled you could all join us this morning to celebrate the class of 2020 during this special virtual celebration of our congregation ceremony. Over the next 45 minutes, you'll experience one of UBC's time-honored traditions, graduation. Our ceremony will begin with an Indigenous welcome, followed by our national anthem. We'll hear greetings from local and national governing representatives. Our president will address the graduating class and pay attention. You won't want to miss the photo op he has planned. We've invited a special friend of UBC to give our keynote address to the class, and you'll hear from members of the graduating class. The chancellor will cover the most important part, the conferral of degrees. And if you missed the photo op the first time, you'll have a second chance with the president towards the very end. Following our ceremony, please visit virtualgraduation.ubc.ca to find a graduate's procession slide, visit the UBC bookstore, and enjoy the virtual graduation reception to welcome you into the alumni UBC community. Graduates, you've worked hard to get here. And families, friends, you've worked hard to support your graduates. So please, enjoy the ceremony. See him, my name is Larry Grant. Sayislak is my Musqueam name. And our ancestor was Kepalano, who was here to greet the first visitors to arrive on our shores. And as our ancestor did in the past, I do today and raise my hands in welcome to all of you here on the traditional ancestral unceded lands of the Hunkamenum speaking Muskin people. I want to say thank you to everyone here that's here in support of our graduates that are graduating from UBC in the year 2020. All of the sweethearts, the relatives, the parents, and everyone that supported our students throughout their years here at the University of British Columbia campus. And I want to say thank you to all of the graduates and congratulate them for all of the years they have put in from the very first day as an undergraduate to whatever level you're graduating at today. And I know that you as leaders and students of Vancouver campus that you've known the 
diversity of our students from around the world and around the, the campus in the city and nationally, that we were he here together, learning together, being together, and that we hopefully go forward together in our lives around the world in whatever discipline that you have decided to work in and that we go together making sure that we take care of each other and making sure that we're all safe and well throughout our lifetime. I want to say thank you again and congratulations again to all of the students that are graduating today. Elder Larry Grant, thank you for those words of welcome. I would like to acknowledge that UBC's Vancouver Point Grey campus is situated on the traditional, ancestral, unceded territory of the Musqueam people. I'd also like to acknowledge that you are joining us today from many places, near and far, and acknowledge the traditional owners and caretakers of those lands. Welcome. My name is Santa Ono, and I am the President and Vice Chancellor of the University of British Columbia. Thank you for joining us online for this very special ceremony to celebrate the class of 2020. Wherever you're watching from, I invite you to please stand and join us in the singing of O Canada, led by our University Marshal Nancy Hermiston, Director of the Opera and Voice Program at the UBC School of Music, and accompanied by a very special ensemble made up of members of the UBC School of Music and the Okanagan Symphony Wind Ensemble. We pause for a moment to give thanks, spiritual and temporal, for the blessings that we share in this wonderful world, this great country, this blessed province, this splendid university, these proud students, their families and friends. We give thanks, especially for this most happy occasion. Please be seated. We are very pleased to have with us a very special guest, Her Honor, the Honorable Janet Austin, the Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia. I invite her now to address the graduating class. Dear UBC grads, we all feel regret that we cannot celebrate your achievements together and in person as we might hope, but we are nonetheless united in our homes and in our hearts, and with every possible good wish for your future success, your happiness and achievements, as you yourselves define these things. You will be called upon to lead our country and our society 
in finding new and creative ways to deal with the complex and interrelated challenges we all face. It may not always be clear to you how the experience of studying at UBC will manifest in your future life and work, but I guarantee you it will in profound and positive ways. The past few months have helped us all to better appreciate our interdependence and strengthen our understanding that all fields of knowledge are connected, that knowledge should be shared within and across disciplines and broadly throughout society. I encourage you to take this to heart and to have ambition, not just for your career, but for your whole life and your community. My final thought for you is a quote from Franklin Roosevelt that has always been meaningful to me. And it is, far and away, the best that life has to offer is the chance to work hard at work worth doing. My hope for all of you is to find that kind of satisfaction and meaningful purpose in work and in life. Congratulations, Heichka. Thank you, Your Honor, for your remarks and for joining us today. I'm pleased now to introduce a very proud Canadian and one of our very own UBC alumni, the Right Honourable Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada, to speak to the graduating class. Hello, everyone. Bonjour à tous, and congratulations to the class of 2020. Today, we celebrate all that you've accomplished and all that you're going to accomplish in this new chapter of your life. I know you're probably a bit disappointed that you're not gathering at the Chan Center or the UBCO Gymnasium, but it's important that we mark this occasion from wherever we are. You've worked hard to get to graduation, and you should be proud of that. Whether you were studying education in the Scarf Building like I was, or putting in late nights at the Commons at UBCO, you've earned the degree you're getting, and I want you to take a moment to reflect on that. From education to medicine, from engineering to the arts, from business to forestry, you are the future of your field and of our country. At UBC, you have learned to make proof of audacity and curiosity, as well as to take initiatives to concretize your full potential. These values will serve you well after the university, because they are those who define the Canadians, the people empathic and devoted, as well as the citizens of the world, creative. Et nous avons besoin de ces qualités aujourd'hui plus que jamais. I know this is an uncertain time, but you were made for this moment. After all, the UBC motto is tuum est, which means it is yours. It is yours to decide what tomorrow will become. And it is up to you to help make the world a better place. No matter what you do, you will define our country's path forward. And your fellow UBC alumni, myself included, can't wait to see what you'll do next. Encore une fois, félicitations aux finissants de 2020. Once again, congratulations. Thank you, Prime Minister, for your remarks and for joining us today. I'm pleased now to introduce the Honorable Melanie Mark, British Columbia's Minister of Advanced Education, Skills and Training, and MLA for Vancouver Mount Pleasant to share some words with our graduates. Hi everyone, my name is Melanie Mark. My Niska name is Lahai Kwiskak. I'm the MLA for Vancouver Mount Pleasant and Minister of Advanced Education, Skills and Training. I'm sending greetings from the Legislative Assembly here in Victoria on the traditional territory of the Songhees and Esquimalt First Nations, members of the Lekwungen speaking peoples. And I want to acknowledge the traditional territory that you're watching this greetings from. As minister, I felt it was really important uh, to send you a message of congratulations during this extraordinary time. I know that this isn't exactly how you imagined crossing the finish line, but you did. You did cross the finish line. You worked really hard, you sacrificed. And I know that you didn't do it without people supporting you and encouraging you. So I wanna thank your family, your friends, faculty, staff, President Santa Ono for his leadership and everyone around you to help you make this day possible. You are the grads of 2020. You are graduating from UBC. You are graduating from one of the best universities in the world. And I'm so proud of you. As the first person in my family to cross the finish line to graduate from post-secondary, it was a big deal. My grandmother, uh, Thelma Mark, went to St. Michael's Residential School and this is her 
regalia, and I'm wearing her regalia, um, to send a symbol to you that this is a big deal. And we need people of all uh, backgrounds, of all ages, to be crossing the finish line. It's an extraordinary time as we deal with COVID, and UBC has been doing a tremendous job leading the way in innovation and research, making its mark across the globe. And so thank you, UBC. Thank you to everyone that is um, taking part in celebrating this very extraordinary convocation of 2020. Uh, we will need you more than ever to build up this beautiful province. Congratulations, Tuxiasm. Thank you, Minister Mark, Chancellor Gordon, honored guests, members of the Board of Governors, the Senate, faculty, staff, alumni, and most especially you, the graduates and your families, and everyone joining us online, welcome to the University of British Columbia Spring Graduation Ceremony. What an honor it is for me to be with you live today, if virtually, to celebrate UBC's newest graduating class, the Class of 2020. La devise de UBC, tu est, c'est à toi, a inspiré les diplômes depuis 1915. Aujourd'hui, 15 000 nouveaux diplômes se joignent à plus de 350 000 diplômes de UBC qui se trouvent dans uh, 140 pays. Félicitations à la promotion de 2020. I love graduation. Thinking of our graduating students and their proud families always fills me with pride. This is also a special time for our faculty members as their students successfully complete their years of study. It is a time of joy, a time of celebration, and a time to come together as a community, whether in person or online. You see, graduation is a time to imagine your future and the world before you. And when you think about the road ahead, you may gain perspective by looking back to where you have been. And I hope that when you do look back at your time at UBC, that you will do so with fondness and that you will see UBC very much part of your future. You see, you will always be welcome here. And we look forward to hearing about your personal and professional achievements as you build upon the foundation of your degree and the education that it represents. We also hope to continue to engage with you as alumni as you travel forward to new adventures. And as you begin a new stage in your life and experience, you can be confident that you can and that you will make a difference just as you have here and just like the UBC graduates who have gone before you. Their numbers include three prime ministers, including our current prime minister, Justin Trudeau, who you just heard from. They also include multiple justices of the Supreme Court, Nobel laureates, leaders in every field, including the sciences and the visual and performing arts. You see, you possess the knowledge and skills, and you have demonstrated during this time here that you have the grit and determination to excel even in challenging and rigorous curricula. You've more than proven yourself, and we have absolute faith in you. In his address to UBC's initial graduating class in 1916, UBC's very first president and Vice Chancellor Frank Westbrook encouraged that class to make the world a better place in which to live, not only for themselves and for, for their loved ones, but also for people they might not even encounter. And that has become embedded into the collective DNA of this institution. Today, 104 years later, I echo those remarks. We believe fervently that each and every one of you has the capacity and skill to succeed and to, 
in your own unique way, make the world a better place. Many of you have already been doing so. Many of you have been inspirational in your studies, in your extracurricular activities. I know that the current situation is hard on your generation. So I'd like to end with a story, a simple story. One day, a man saw a caterpillar trying to emerge from a cocoon as a butterfly. The man took pity on the caterpillar, so he took some scissors and opened up that cocoon to make it easy for that caterpillar to emerge and become a butterfly. And yes, the butterfly was able to get out of that cocoon easily. But unlike other butterflies that struggle through that little hole in the cocoon, this caterpillar never developed. Its wings never got large. It was never able to fly. And the reason why that caterpillar never developed into a butterfly is because that struggle out of that cocoon is actually required for the molecules in the body of the cocoon to make their way into the new developing wings. And those molecules are essential for the wings to unfurl and to reach their full size. So the moral of the story is that sometimes struggle makes you a stronger person and a better person. My hope for you is that this current struggle will make you stronger, more resilient, that it will prepare you to be even better than you might have been. Now, I know this might be hard to believe right now, but you will emerge from this present crisis more resilient and even better. Stay in touch. We will be rooting for you every step of the way. Congratulations, class of 2020. Now, if we were gathered together in person, I would have had the opportunity to congratulate you. And we would have had a chance to take a photo together. That's an important moment for both of us, especially for me. And I wanted to be sure that we still had that opportunity. Now's our chance. I want you to get your cameras ready, your smartphones, because that photo op is coming. In a moment, I'll leave some space next to me, just like we would be if we're standing together on stage. And that's our chance for you to take a selfie of us together, for your loved ones you're watching with to snap a photo of us together. And don't worry, I'll give you a little bit of time. Ready? Here we go. Did you get it? If you didn't, I'll try one more time. I'm so glad we had the opportunity to take that photo together. In UBC's 104-year history, this university has honored more than 750 people with honorary degrees. These individuals, in the opinion of the university community, have fit the criteria of excellence and eminence in their chosen field. Ten years ago, we had the honor of conferring an honorary Doctor of Letters honoris causa on Dr. Rick Mercer. Rick Mercer is without a doubt one of this country's most highly respected writers and actors. His knack for political and social satire has earned him over 25 Gemini Awards, including for his top-rated CBC series, The Rick Mercer Report. He is a number one Toronto star and Globe and Mail best-selling author, including for his most recent book, Rick Mercer Final Report. Rick was recently honored with the Governor General's Lifetime Achievement Award. As someone who understands what amuses, delights, and occasionally enrages Canadians about our politicians, our media, and our neighbor to the south, 
Brink has made his mark on Canadian culture and helped to define what it means to be Canadian. Class of 2020, allow me to introduce you to Canada's unofficial opposition and your keynote speaker, Dr. Rick Mercer. Dr. Mercer? Hello to the students of the graduating class of 2020, honored guests, faculty, parents, family members. I hope you are well, safe at home, and that you're all wearing pants. Who's to say if you are or not? These are very strange times. As graduates, you must feel like you're graduating in the strangest period in human history. Well, let me assure you, despite how you feel, this is not the strangest period in human history. It's definitely top five, maybe even top three. Not gonna lie, it's way up there. But, and there's always a but, this too will pass, and we will carry on, which is what you are doing right now, graduating as planned, just doing it in a very different way than you had anticipated. But some things have not changed. One thing that has not changed is that you are now graduates of an incredible university. You have now joined a very distinguished group of individuals respected all over the world. The University of British Columbia has produced seven Nobel Prize winners, three prime ministers, and 69 Rhodes Scholars. Now, why none of them were available to do this address, I have no idea. I'm certainly happy to do it. So many of your family and friends are so proud of the class of 2020. Personally, I am envious of the class of 2020, because despite these strange times, you have so much to look forward to. Many of you will end up in careers that don't even exist today. How exciting is that? And all of you will end up doing things you never imagined. I know that's been true in my life, and it will be true in yours if, and it's a big if, if you remain open, open to change, open to new opportunities, because you cannot predict where they are going to come from. And always be up for a challenge. Now, I know none of you are afraid of a challenge. The fact that you are graduating tells me this. But promise yourself that you will not stop challenging yourself. Far too many people, they do this as their lives and their careers progress. They challenge themselves less. You challenge yourself by surrounding yourself with people who will do it for you. If you're the smartest person in the room, find another room. In my career, I've had the privilege of interviewing and spending time with a lot of great Canadians. And while they come from a multitude of backgrounds, be it politics or the arts or public service, science, academia, business, one thing they all had in common is that they never stopped challenging themselves. I think of UBC graduate Rick Hansen. Rick Hansen has always been a hero of mine. And when I call Rick Hansen, to appear on my show, I was incredibly intimidated because I wanted to make sure that the piece would be so incredible and do his legacy justice. And I called him up, I asked him to come on the show, he said yes, and I said, Rick, I would like to take you bungee jumping. And there was a pause, and he said, not gonna happen. I said, are you sure? Can you imagine how amazing that would be if you bungee jumped? And he said, not gonna happen. I will take you sturgeon fishing, because turns out Hanson loves sturgeon fishing. Well, the problem with that is sturgeon fishing, while it may be fun, it's not really interesting to look at. It would be him in a chair, me on a box, looking at the rods. You don't even touch the rods. So I, I had Rick Hanson, but I was disappointed that we were going sturgeon fishing. That night in British Columbia, an old friend of Rick Hanson's popped by his house. And they were having a few pops, and they were chatting. And Rick said, I'm going to go on the Mercer show. I'm going to go sturgeon fishing with him. And his friend said, that's great. And then Rick said, you know what he wanted me to do? He wanted me to go bungee jumping. I'm not doing that. And then his friend said, of course you can't do that, Rick. You're in a wheelchair. How lucky am I? Think of that. There's Rick Hansen. His entire raison d'etre, his entire life has been dedicated to the concept that he can do anything an able-bodied person can do. And here was an old friend saying, you can't do that, you're in a wheelchair. He immediately rolled into the living room, picked up the phone, called me and said, okay, bungee jumping, I'm in. And because he accepted that challenge, I got to push my hero off a bridge. How amazing is that? But if anyone deserved the right to say, you know what? I don't care what anyone says. I'm not going bungee jumping. I'm going fishing. It would be Rick Hansen. But because he was told he couldn't do it, 
He had to do it. Be like Rick. Don't let anyone tell you it can't be done. And when you're faced with the daunting task of a new life and a new career after university, know this. You have a tremendous advantage that stems from what you don't know. When I was in my early 20s, I was given the opportunity to write and perform a one-man show in the nation's capital. I leapt at the chance, and I said yes. I said yes despite the fact I had never written a one-man show before. I had no idea how to do it. I had no idea how to stand on a stage. That show, that single show, led to a career in show business that I am so grateful for. But if I knew then what I know now, I never would have done it. It would have been too intimidating. I did it because I didn't know any better. I didn't have the sense to say no. Embrace that. This is why young people have always had a great capacity to change the world. When you picture Alexander Graham Bell, you picture a wizened old man. But when he patented the telephone, he was in his 20s. He didn't look like an old man. He looked like most of you now. Banting and Best began producing insulin in their 20s. Microsoft and Apple, founded by 20-somethings. Marie Curie had their first breakthroughs on proving atoms are divisible in her 20s. And who can dispute the impact that Malala and Greta have had on the world? We need more of that. We need you. We need your generation. We need your ideas and your energy. In conclusion, to the class of 2020, go out into the world. Well, when you're allowed out in the world, find your tribe. Treat people well, and as you go through life, the rules of camping apply. Leave this place in better shape than when you found it. Congratulations. Here's to a wonderful future. Be well. Wash your hands. Wear pants. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mercer. We're honored to have you as a member of our alumni community. The tradition of the grad class gift to the university began in 1926. Since then, each graduating class has chosen a gift to enhance the campus. I now invite two members of the graduating class to announce this year's gift to the university and share some words with you. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, Deans, directors, distinguished members of the faculty, honored guests, family and friends, fellow graduates. My name is Julia Burnham, and I'm proud to join this year's graduating class as I receive my Bachelor of Arts in Canadian Studies and First Nations and Indigenous Studies. I certainly will not be the first to say this is not the way that we had hoped to be gathered today. It's a little different this time. No rose garden photo shoot, no keen parents rushing up to the front row to snap your photo as you cross the stage, and perhaps most devastatingly, no free slices of cake outside the Chance Center. None of us chose this ending to our time at UBC, but we still finished strong. Gathered today, we are proof that the class of 2020 is tough and ready to take on the complex, urgent challenges of the world. The coronavirus pandemic has claimed a lot from us, our communities and the people we love, but today, as we celebrate this great milestone alongside our family and friends, we must refuse to let it claim this achievement. However far apart you may be today, I encourage you to reach out to your mentors, your professors, your classmates, and thank them for their part in getting you to the finish line. Every degree granted here today is the product of a community that believed in you and is so thrilled to see you succeed. It gives me great pleasure to announce this year's graduating class gifts to the university. $20,000 to commission a mural in the UBC Life Building to celebrate student experiences at UBC, including academics, celebrations, student issues, and more. $20,000 to the AMS Food Bank to support their operations amidst the COVID-19 pandemic and allowing them to serve more students who are in need. And lastly, $20,000 to be given to UBC to support students with financial need during the COVID-19 pandemic. I'm pleased to introduce our next speaker, Njoki Maburu, who is also a member of the graduating class. Thank you, Julia. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, deans, directors, distinguished members of the faculty, honored guests, family and friends, the Zoom class of 2020, a grand hello to you all. Njoki Maburu is my name. Today, I am graduating with a Bachelor of Science, Global Research Systems, 
in the Faculty of Land and Food Systems. To celebrate each member of the class of 2020 at UBC and your loved ones, I wrote you this poem. Place yourself on a bridge. On one end, piles of pages and pens, your instruments of schooling. On the other, everything intangible and incalculable, your instruments of learning. Privilege is the name of that bridge. Use it to lose it. Yet such duality is not the simple nature of life. In this time of blurred transition, we reminisce our pasts, uncertain of where we go. None know where they go, only where they come from. My grandparents whisper. Regalia, degrees, and guided names, worthwhile symbols of our toils and troubles. Incomplete, however, unable to capture chaos when our hearts weighed heavier than books at IKB, when our bodies perceived threats from within and without all at once, when our search for belonging mirrored an elusive, exhausting dance. Even so, places of peace are rooted here. Wholeness and generational memories stem here, the ancestral, traditional, and unceded territory of the Musqueam Nation. We tread softly, harmonious with the nature on the stone steps in the Nitobe Garden, encountering strangers' smiles on the staircase to Rec Beach, immersed in the sunlight peering through the canopy of the Pacific Spirit Regional Park. My gratitude lies here, Haichika. Becoming a graduate is to embrace the rose with the thorns still on it, to understand that your precious degree accompanies this blurred transition, to recognize that while we have done what we came here to do, we have more to do. We are more. Through all novelties and uncertainties, remember these words. Penyania Panangia. Where there is a will, there is a way. In this time of blurred transition, schooling might end. Learning will continue. Haichika. Thank you to both our student speakers for their inspiring words. I'm Lindsay Gordon, and I'm honored to be the Chancellor of the University of British Columbia. It gives me great pleasure to be celebrating with you today, even if the circumstances are a bit unusual. A few short weeks ago, the Senate of this university met to review the candidates for degrees who have successfully completed their studies and fulfilled the conditions that the university has set for them. Degrees were officially conferred during a meeting of the convocation. And for those graduates who join us online today, and for all those who are unable to attend today's celebration, welcome to the convocation of UBC. And congratulations to each and every one of you. As chancellor, it's been my great honor and privilege to join you today and to have admitted you to the convocation of UBC. All of you have invested a great deal of determination, focus, and hard work to obtain your degrees. And now, just as you graduate, this would be a perfect time to pause and reflect on those who've supported you. Now, if they've joined you to watch online today, please take a moment to turn to them and show your appreciation for their support, your peers, your friends, your family, and let's give them a big thank you. And let's not forget the faculty members. Many of them have joined us virtually this morning. Let's thank them all for their support, their guidance, and their leadership during your time at UBC. So graduates, you are now members of the Convocation of UBC, and you are in good company. Since UBC first began granting degrees in 1916, generations of graduates have gone on to build our community and shape our society. And now, as alumni, your relationship with UBC is beginning anew. 
and you can maintain your voice in the affairs of the university through your elected members of Senate, by mentoring today's students, or perhaps by participating in one of UBC's many volunteer opportunities. And as lifelong learners, you will always be welcome to come back, whether online or eventually in person, to take a course or two. And I do encourage you to stay involved and be a part of the future of this great institution. You have much to offer UBC, as it still has much to offer you. To a mest, and again, my congratulations to all of you. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Chancellor, Lindsay Gordon, for presiding over today's ceremony. This is also our Chancellor's last time joining us in this role for UBC graduation as he completes his term later this month. As part of today's online ceremony, I would like to take a moment to say just a few words on behalf of the entire university about our outgoing Chancellor, Lindsay Gordon. As an alumnus of the Faculty of Arts and the Sauter School of Business, Chancellor Gordon began the 18th, became the 18th Chancellor of UBC in July of 2014, having recently retired as the President and CEO of HSBC Bank Canada. But even before he took office, he was already active in various volunteer roles at his university, most notably as co-chair of the enormously successful Start and Evolution campaign. The Chancellor serves on the UBC Board of Governors, attends countless board and committee meetings, and a wide range of university events on and off campus. Overall, I'm confident his colleagues would agree that Chancellor Gordon undertook his commitments as Chancellor with trademark wisdom and determination, never losing sight of the strategic objectives the university sought to fulfill, nor the principles they upheld. Similarly, all would agree that he served for the right reasons. Inspired by his understanding of the importance of learning and research to an increasingly complex society, and by the wide-ranging talent of UBC students, graduates, and alumni. Chancellor Gordon, Lindsay, you've been a superb ambassador for UBC, an insightful leader among your colleagues, and an inspirational example to all of our students. On behalf of your university, and with great admiration and affection, I extend our sincere gratitude to you. Now, before bringing the celebration and ceremony to a close, I want to be sure that we have one more opportunity to take that photo together. Earlier, we took a selfie together, and I want to be sure we got that shot. So let's take one more. Once more, I'll slide to the right, to the left of your screen, and we'll get that one more photo up. Friends, this brings our celebration and ceremony to a close. I hope you have enjoyed it just as much as I have. As the ceremony concludes, I invite you to continue the celebration by doing three things. Graduates, please visit virtualgraduation.ubc.ca to search your procession slides and to share them proudly using the tag, hashtag UBCgrad. From there, you can also read the digital guest book your family and friends have written tributes in. Download the graduation program that lists your name, visit the UBC bookstore for a new degree frame, and watch a recording of this ceremony at any time. In a few minutes' time, our virtual reception will begin. Don't miss this opportunity to start the next chapter of your life with Alumni UBC as one of our newest alumni. Thank you for joining us over 12,000 of you online today. I know that you will join me in congratulating once again the 2020 graduates of the University of British Columbia.